Hyperparathyroidism What is hyperparathyroidism? Have you been struggling to find clear and concise hyperparathyroidism treatment information on the internet? If so, you're not alone. For a lot of people experiencing kidney failure, hyperparathyroidism is by far one of the most puzzling of all complications. This is somewhat due to the fact that most people are unaware that there is even such a gland that exists in the body. Of course, mostly due to the fact there is hardly any information out there on how to treat hyperparathyroidism effectively and naturally. Therefore, treat hyperparathyroidism and provide quality information. Getting to know your parathyroid gland. Before we can treat parathyroid disease we need to know then what it is and its function. The parathyroid gland is actually a collection of glands situated in the neck. Behind the thyroid gland, which lies over the voice box. There are four parathyroid glands in total. Though some individuals can be born with more. And surprisingly all four of them are the size of a grain of rice. It blows my mind that such small glands can have such an influence on the body. Hyperparathyroidism. Function. The only function of the parathyroid gland. Is to manage calcium levels within the blood. This is an important job, as your entire nervous and muscular system's functionality depends on it. Our nervous system literally communicates from the presence of calcium. Or I could say one nerve communicates to another nerve through the electrical conductivity of calcium. Not only that, but calcium is also required for muscular function. In particular, muscular contraction. Magnesium on the other hand relaxes muscles. So what does the parathyroid do? Well, the parathyroid gland is like a 24-hour calcium monitor. When the gland detects that blood calcium levels have dropped under a certain amount, they produce parathyroid hormone, PTH. The goal of the parathyroid hormone is to increase circulating blood levels of calcium. Specifically, it does this in four ways. PTH causes the skeletal bones to break down and release calcium into the bloodstream. PTH increases absorption of calcium via the intestines. By activating vitamin D, this activation occurs within the kidneys. Also, PTH increases reabsorption of calcium via the kidneys. Eventually, PTH increases the excretion of phosphate in the urine. Phosphate inhibits the rise of calcium in the blood. Both calcium and phosphorus work on a seesaw effect. When one is up the other is low. Hyperparathyroidism and kidney disease. Because to help those with kidney disease. We'll just concentrate on the issues that relate and affect you. Hyperparathyroidism can be caused by a number of ways. Benign tumor growth, hyperplasia, and carcinoma. But when one has kidney disease it occurs for a number of different reasons. These different reasons cause what is termed, secondary hyperparathyroidism. Because they cause hyperparathyroidism indirectly. As you will soon see. Note, this is where it is important to pay attention. As it is these causes we turn into the basis of our hyperparathyroidism treatment equals greater than which leads to healing. The causes of secondary hyperparathyroidism. Remember hyperparathyroidism treatment starts from here. When the kidneys begin to decline. Their ability to remove phosphate from the blood also declines. As you may remember phosphate acts as an antagonist to calcium. So when high levels of phosphate are in the blood supply. There are low levels of calcium. This in turn will cause the parathyroid gland. To produce more PTH to increase calcium levels. Kidneys on the decline also have trouble converting vitamin D. To its most biologically active form. This in turn reduces absorption of calcium via the intestines. Therefore in kidney disease hyperparathyroidism. Is caused by low active forms of vitamin D, and high phosphate levels. This results in low calcium levels and thus overactive parathyroid glands. What are the symptoms and problems associated with secondary hyperparathyroidism? The main problem with this type of hyperparathyroidism is that calcium and phosphorus bind together. This binding causes bone disease. Because calcium is taken from the bones, making them weak and brittle. 
then calcifies in various parts of the body. Of course, it is this calcification that causes most of the problems. Calcification is essentially deposits of calcium phosphate in places where it should not occur. Symptoms and complications such as anemia, anxiety, breathing problems, constipation, fatigue, heart problems, high blood pressure, itchy red eyes, itchy skin, joint pain, joint spurs, kidney stones, lung disease, muscle weakness, nausea and vomiting. You can refer to treating hyperparathyroidism naturally. I guarantee that I've given you my 7 best tips on how to reverse it. Kidney Disease Solution Try the Kidney Disease Solution risk-free for 60 days. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Do not forget like, share, and comment with us.